We gather together, we continue our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We join in faith. We open our hearts in gratitude to God's great promise of forgiving love as we confess our sin and our brokenness. Lord Jesus, our hearts rejoice that you have come to be our brother. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, our hearts rejoice that you have come to be our friend. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our hearts rejoice that you have come to be our Savior. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to a richer and more abundant life in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never allowed the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your, in your love and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. And yeah. Amen. <laughs> Rather, I am eager for the profit that occurs.
to your account. I have received full payment and I abound. I am very well supplied because of what I received from you through Ephraim, a fragrant aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his property you might become rich. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with this honest wealth, so that when it fails, you be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones, and the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If therefore you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. The person will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. The Pharisees, who love money, heard all these things and sneered at him, and he said to them, You justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of human estate esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Possessing, but from two completely different perspectives. And the one that stood, stayed with me was Paul in the first reading. And he's very clear that he's grateful to the Philippians for their support, their care, and their gifts of love. But then he reflects on the fact that he has learned to live with bounty and live with nothing. And he's learned to do that, he says, because I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And he did one thing in particular that many of us, including myself, don't do. He chose not to cling to what he had. He chose not to cling 
to what he had. If it was abundance, he rejoiced, but he could let it go. For me, if it's abundance, I'm happy and I want to keep it. I want to keep it. When it became poverty and want, he could live with it. And he could let it go. When I have adversity, I always want to let it go. Always want to let it go. That's the difference between Paul and me. Perhaps between Paul and you. There was nothing he clung to. And because he didn't cling to anything, he could be content in each and every moment of life's journey. Paul said it so simply. I can do all things in the one who strengthens me. He teaches us that if we do not cling, we are much freer. Now I've had some practice with that myself as a priest because I was in six different parishes while in active ministry. And I was never ready to leave any of those parishes. Never ready to leave. Always wanted to stay. But I had to learn to let them go. And in the surrender, a whole new parade of friends and people came into my life. The only parish I was happy to leave was the last one because I was retired. And that was much better than working. We, as we journey, have the choice each and every day to claim or to let go. When it's abundance, the tendency is want to keep. If it's negative, we're happy to surrender. But Paul tells us we have to be willing to do that with all the aspects of life's journey. Let us stand together now as we entrust our prayer to our God. Our gracious God, as we stand in faith, we ask the grace, like Paul, to be grateful for each and every moment that you give us, knowing that your grace is ever there to sustain us. We pray. Let us pray that we might be ever more free to surrender the gifts we have in the service of others. We pray. Let us continue to pray for the many who are suffering from the wildfires here in our own state, for the gift of protection and safety for those who have lost their lives and their properties 
with the gift of care, support, comfort, and hope, we pray. Lord, let us pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones in the recent mass killings, for the gift of comfort for their hearts, eternal life for their loved ones, we pray. Lord, let us pray for all who choose the path of violence, that their hearts might be converted to God's journey of peace and love, we pray. Lord, Lord, let us continue to pray for all those newly elected to office in our country with the gift of God's guidance in their decisions, we pray. Lord, Lord, and let us pray that the peace of Jesus might come more fully to our hearts and our world, we pray. Lord, Lord, We've been asked to pray and remember this morning Jones Zacchaeus in gratitude for God's promise of life and its fullness spoken to her. We pray. Lord, and for the intentions we hold in our hearts. We pray. Lord, our gracious and redeeming God as we stand in faith, we do rejoice that you pour forth your grace upon us each and every day. Continue to lead us to be grateful for that which you have given, and lead us to be ever more generous in sharing what we have in the service of others. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Join me now in prayer, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice might be acceptable to our gracious and loving God. May the Lord accept this sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O gracious God, graciously shed light on your church, so that your flock may everywhere prosper, and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our joy and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, holy God, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them 
the imperishable crown of glory through Christ Jesus our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Oh. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, both high and in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, both high and in the highest. You are indeed holy, O God, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, our gracious God, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ Jesus, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and our local bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Leo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but to the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of the Lord's love and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the one who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Let us stand together in prayer. Be pleased, O oh gracious God, we pray, to govern the church who have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon us all and divide forever. Amen. Let us continue our journey in the peace and love of Christ Jesus. Amen.